Hello everyone, my name is Valkyrie, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another Fortnite video. And today I'm going to be dropping to Koro Castle 10 times. Like with Burnie Boots location, I decided to drop here, because apparently, like I've been saying, that the location is going to be either changed or going to be completely destroyed by the aliens. So I'm going to drop here 10 times just to remember the location. As, while this location was out, I think it was in Season 3, yeah, definitely Season 3, that was the season which I actually returned and played this game. And actually, some fact, in Season 3, that was actually the time I actually decided I could record proper videos on this game. So I thought, at the very least, I could somehow honor this location with dropping there 10 times. Also, in the Bony Birds video, I forgot to mention that at the screenshot where I looked at essentially said that it's okay to people to make videos like him, like, you know, dropping 10 times, 20 times, or 100 times. And that's what I'm going to be doing right there. I realized that I have to set the screenshot only as I finished the video, and I thought to myself, you know, I'm just going to mention this in the start of this video. And so if you haven't checked out the Looked and Notable, then what are you doing? Go check him out. He makes video like this, but 10 times better. He actually drops somewhere 100 times. The link to his channel will be in the description, but anyway, without further ado, let's drop in to Carl Castle 10 times. Now, just like with Bony Birds, this is the way, shape, or form my first ever game landing there. As we said, I landed there in Season 3, I was landed there. Bit of this season, so... But in game one, like we can realize why this location is actually going to get removed or destroyed in some way, shape, or form. And that's actually because uh, this location is kind of bad. At the very you know, in solos, jobs, or squads, uh, this location is um, not the best one. Mainly because of its location. Now, a, you're at the far side of the map, and B, essentially you're in a giant hole, so it's going to kind of be difficult you know, to get out of it before the first zone comes out. So that's why whenever I did drop in here, I really didn't have much time to loot. But I killed this guy in here, but he didn't really upgrade me though. You would think that both are essentially good shatter to escape the cold castle, but nope, they're extremely loud. But just like in my high school, which I used to go, I saw two people fighting. But unlike in high school, I killed them both. And nothing much happened in this game. But I was able to find one of these artifacts randomly. I was very lucky. But I got shot. But I still did take in my life to get that one artifact. Do you know what was getting killed by one sweat? But getting attacked by two of them. Now, at the start of the game, too, not much really happened. I just dropped in, I got some weapons, and I started shooting. I killed the first person, but the second person was an actual person, and he actually gave me a bit of one for my money. But I got him in the end. Until I met this guy who almost lasered me. Who is this man? I'm just a baffled about the Fortnite AI, where sometimes it could be like make some dumb decisions, but sometimes it could just almost laser you down, like it almost happened here. But in this game, I was super careful not to fight anyone when I'm in a bad situation, because we all know what happened last time when I did that. But there was something which I forgot to consider Starman heals. So I died. But in game number 3 I said, you know, I'm gonna flex a little bit of my glow skin. But then for some reason, this game probably turned into one of the sweatiest game of souls I have ever been in my life. Like, what the fuck is this? FNCS? And when I say sweaty, I do really mean sweaty. Epic, I have one question. How the fuck am I being put in these lobbies? Like, how am I supposed to fight them when I'm not that good? Epic, can you answer me that? As you guys can see, in this game I was quite mad about the last game. So I took my aggression on this pearly on the Sporin Island, and this guy was clearly trying to get out of the Coral Castle. Nothing much after that, I just stay in this house until I had to move to another zone. Now I know it's a bad thing to have such a bush camp, but what am I supposed to do against these sweat? Also, I was determined to get this one, so when this ox came to my bush, I was afraid. But first, that she's gonna kill me, and if I do somehow kill her, somehow, someway, that's essentially you know, the other two people gonna realize where I am, and then um, I think I'm gonna be dead. But it quickly became a 1v1. As I have seen him gliding over me, I thought I'm gonna get my AR. But no, I missed every single shot because of the bot, and when he started building up to me, I was very, very stressed. But every time he left himself open for one second, I poked him. I poked him hard, until I got the victory royale. I dedicate this one for everyone who's not a sweat in this game. Game number 5 started with this amazing snipe, but then I was I didn't really have much time to loot, so I had to leave very early on. But on my way, I decided to visit Bony Burns again, but before that I also was able to snipe someone else. I'm in a roll here. Nothing really happened until I found this guy who I'm not sure if I should call him a sweat. Mark like a sweat pussy. And he's not kind of the sweat guy who pulled up and killed me, no, he pulled up a box and then just stayed in there. But luckily he didn't kill me, someone else killed me with a sniper. I think it was supposed that I died by the sniper. And in game 6 I dropped to Coral Castle. But in this game I discovered how much actually stone can give you by these stones over here by the chest. It's actually kind of mad. Two of these statues can give you almost 200 stone. And I'm pretty sure there's more statues to spring around this area, so if you're looking for stones then yeah, this is a pretty good shout. I'm not sure why I'm telling you this game information is going to get changed, so it doesn't really matter. I was able to go to Sweaty Sand and grab a vehicle. It's Believer's Beach! 
But in this game I died by someone who actually was not a sweat. He picked up his gun and actually fight me. GG's to you, sir. Did I also mention that I have the new Catwoman skin? No? Well, uh, I'm telling you this right now. But this time, whenever I did drop to Korokas, I probably had the best zone ever. I didn't have to move, I could have moved as much as I wanted, and I even have time to fish some. Yay! And the next zone wasn't too far either, it was that stealthy stronghold. So, I'm essentially looking good right now, am I? The final in the game in this was kind of a mess. There was one guy up, there was one guy in a spaceship, and I was lucky that none of them saw me until the end. But in the end, I actually did realize why do people actually hate this UFO so much. Sorcerers, or whatever the hell his name is. It has unlimited ammo. It, that's probably one of the weirdest hitbox I'm shooting at it, and it doesn't deal no damage. But at the end, it wasn't him who killed me. It was me who accidentally picked a rocket instead of the flopper. In the game, I decided to go with the OG Catwoman. Because I'm an OG! I don't think that the OG Catwoman is better than the new one, just because he's an OG. I like both of them. But I'm not sure which one I would actually say that is better than the other. I think they're just both as good as each other in some way, shape or form. But anyway, Coral Castle. Zone wasn't too bad. But once again, I think I was put in FNCS lobby or something. Like, why am I being put in these lobbies? But I was able to kill the sweat on this lobby. Yeah, take that, you prick. Learn what arena is used for. But in the end, it was a 1v1. And you can see how stressful I was as I was trying to shoot this bear and it didn't even work. But Raz has way too much drink last night and he fell from the tree. Honestly, I can't even comment on this one. Consider what I did last time. It's game 9 time. The nightmare is almost over. I dropped in there. I also had a pretty good zone. I didn't really have to move, so I was able to loot again and fish. I was doing my own stuff, you know, just chilling. Until this random lady just come out of nowhere and tried to shoot me. Later on, I thought to myself, do you know what? If I'm going to be put in another sword lobby, then do you know what I should use? Butterflies, because I can put buildings on fire. Counter to the sweat. And so, personally, in this book with this guy, as he was trying to blow over me, I just threw in some butterflies and burn his entire structures down. Until he just hopped into the spaceship and then he just killed me. I am not saying that these spaceships are OP, but could someone tell me how am I supposed to fight against these things, please? Because I have no idea. The in Team Mobile, they're easy to take down, but in actual game modes, I cannot beat them. So maybe someone could give me advice on how I'm supposed to fight them off in solos. Game 10 of Cold Castle Drops. But as usual, I had a bad zone, so I had to go get the Ilya again. But I remember my lesson from the last game. Butterflies are OP. They destroy the sweat. As a fun fact, I was even able to throw the jar of butterflies in the player's head. So he was able to reload when he attacked me in the final circle. But there was two other people left, and I can promise you they were all sweat. I have used the butterflies to at the very least no burn his structure, maybe kill him, so it's gonna be 1v1. I'll probably won't be winning that one, but still, a nice kill or a nice top 2 would be nice. But as I got him low, he was over me, I think he killed me. Like a little. Do these guys ever heard of Arena? where the good people are. Have you guys not ever heard of that? So I am Coral Castle. I have to love the location in Season 3 as I heard because that was the thing which I they came back. But in these games, these games were extremely sweaty and I'm not sure whether I'm gonna be doing this anytime soon in this game. I'm probably gonna do it like an Apex Legend or in you know, my Hero Academia at uh, once Heroes Justice 2. But in this game I think I'm just gonna take a break from doing the intentional thing in these games or I'm gonna go critically insane. And once again, I would like to, you know, essentially, if you trying to look notable, for not so much actually saying that I can do it, but essentially allowing everyone to do it, like, you know, 10 drops, 100 drops, and 20 drops, I'll be definitely be trying to do more of these kind of drops, but as I said, Fortnite, I just need to take a break, because I'm going to think I'm going to go click again insane. But anyway, that's for me to this video. I hope you guys are going to remember the Coral Castle, as I do right now. Rest in peace, Coral Castle, if you're going to get destroyed.